I'm not going to sit here and, and uh, waste my time if the ball keeps coming back down the hill. And the third time it came down, I just did what Triplett did last year. John Daly at the U.S. Open at Pinehurst. Not happy with the course and not afraid to talk about it. I've had it with the USGA and the way they run their tournaments. Um, I just feel that... Uh, you know, they set the pins very difficult yesterday when you hit good shots in there and you're posing on shots and you're not getting rewarded for it. I think it's crazy. And, um, you know, I just have. Did he make another one, Pop? Very nearly. But just don't get too far away. I mean, they're also given the opportunity of matching the blistering start of Tim Clark and to make that his fourth birdie in five holes. Public course. Now then, Big John. Big John's played some electrifying golf today. Well, he's hold long ones. And he After a 71 on day one, a 74 on day two. And all a bit frustrating. Still a 67 on day three, and he was back in contention to win the title. And this is his first visit to Sweden. Just a little bit over there. And he's ripped it. Oh dear. Not fun that Edger was it? No. You take anything positive away from this? No. What's next? I'm done. What do you mean you're done? I'm done. Done with what? Golf. You're not going to see it up anymore? No. Why? I can't compete. Do you honestly feel that? Yeah. The bottom of your heart? Yeah. It sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. Are you, is it you can't compete? Are you embarrassed? You tell me, what is it? I just can't, can't play like I used to. But have you had enough time, given yourself enough time with the changes you've made? Yeah. Do you honestly feel that? Yeah. I don't believe you. I'm your friend, too. I can't keep taking spots from guys out here playing this bad. It's not worth it. So go go somewhere with Rick for a week and come back to Pell. Just you and Rick. No, I'm not going to take that spot away from anybody either. So is this it? Pretty much. Well, it's either pretty much or it's either a yes or a no. You yeah. know that. I don't, I, know. Think, I don't think your fans want you to give up. No. What do you say to them? I'm tired of embarrassing myself in front of them. You'll be missed, you know that. What, for bad golf? No, for who you are as a person. A lot of people look up to you out there. They didn't say so, you're not quit. You didn't quit. No, I just can't do it anymore. <laughs> can't do it anymore, Bob. Again, 71 today for John Daly after 79 yesterday. Shocking comments? Hmm. All right, a moment ago, this is John Daly in deep trouble here. This is his fourth shot. Ugh. And now we're going to show you his fifth shot. So that was a moment ago. Now we're live. He's about to hit his seventh shot, Mark Rolfe. You're asking me to describe this? Wow. You know. Yeah. And at the seventh, par three, John is having issues uh, there's one that got wet here is uh, another and here is yet another three into Lake Michigan and when when that happens yeah it starts getting in your mind and the golf club soon to follow but but don't despair because there are watercraft out there hey dad look what I got Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't think John wants it back either. Including the, the shot of the month when he 
fell into the river with his approach to the final hole, but nonetheless hit a beautiful shot. Come daily, finish with a birdie. An ongoing spat with his former coach, Butch Harmon. Neither man prepared to give way. Oh, and this is just, I'm afraid, so typical of John Daly. And when you see this, you wonder how on earth he's won this championship. He's, uh, he's certainly put on a bit of condition since we saw him earlier in the year. And that is one seriously ugly card. But one has to feel a bit sorry for him because he's basically a, a decent bloke. But he really has had his problems. Simon Khan for a birdie. Badly needed. 17th, come on. Oh, you little beauty. The sun making its first positive appearance of the morning. It was uh, quite bright and cheerful seven or eight miles inland this morning, but the clouds lingered over the shore and uh, are beginning to burn away now. The forecast is for the weather to improve not only today, but through Saturday and Sunday. Uh, the temptations of how you cut the lake. Well, here's John Daly. Look at the number there. That's a uh, touchdown, extra point, three field goals, and a safety. I don't know. I'd have gone for two. Let's see what happened. <laughs> what happened is John started the hole off by driving the ball into the water, and then hit five consecutive three woods into the water. His 13th shot ended up in the hazard. The key shot on the hole, though, it appears, was his 15th shot. It was a <laughs> six iron into the green, hit a rock, and bounced up into a greenside bunker. Got it out of that bunker in 16 and two putted for 18. They did say though that when he got in that he was in a pretty good spirit. He had told the press that the pressure was really on. He had one new golf ball left. There was some wonderful golf played yesterday, but it was marred by an incident involving John Daly and Trevor. Before we get into the sanction situation, can you just explain for people that haven't seen it what occurred on the course yesterday? Okay, well, um, he hit a ball off the 10th tee into the bunker at Greenside on 10. Uh, apparently there was another ball in that bunker off the range, but uh, under the rules he's supposed to go and make sure that he identifies his own ball. He failed to do that. He hit the other ball, which was a wrong ball, two-shot penalty, and went to 11 T. He then hit it down 11 and proceeded to hit about six balls into the water. excuse was obviously that he ran out of balls and then he stormed off the golf course and uh, it wasn't very pleasant after that. An incident with John Daly on the ninth hole, his final hole today. With me, the director of the championship, Trevor Hurden. You've spoken to John Daly uh, and you've also spoken to the gentleman whose camera was destroyed. Yes, I have. Uh, John, John had a very tough front nine. Uh, sorry, he had a tough uh, back nine and tough day. And this gentleman... Uh, 
got too close one, once too often, unfortunately. He had no right to have a camera on the golf course for a start. He wasn't accredited. Um, and John was in the middle of trying to take a drop there where he was unplayable on nine. And uh, unfortunately, he just grabbed his camera. This guy, he was sick of this guy being right on his face. Right on his face. And he, he just took it. Apparently, he was only a couple of feet from his face, and which is, you know, we've all got our jobs to do. And having someone, when you're trying to play the best, uh, to be two feet from him is a bit... Bit, uh, bit All right. What about the, what about the fan? What's his side of the story? Oh well, he he'd taken a number of photos throughout the day. Um, when I mentioned to him that he shouldn't have even had the camera, he sort of um, was a bit taken back on that. But uh, he's not allowed to bring cameras into the unless you're an accredited photographer. So he was fine once I explained it to him and I apologised for the incident. Uh, John, sorry about it, but at the end of the day, uh, uh, John had a job to do and was doing it. But John is apologetic. Uh, he's expressed that sentiment to you. I know he left the course straight away. Yeah, John's apologetic, and uh, he'll come back out tomorrow to try and excite the fans again by playing playing John Daly golf. He's a he's a walking headline, isn't he, Trevor? Oh, he's a walking headline. But um, you know, I just I just love to have him down here because he, he's a different golfer. Because fans like different golfers, and John Daly is different, and he smashes it every time he can, and the fans love it. He's uh, he's good. So, from your point of view, the Retro Championship, no sanctions? No, he's fine. Like, uh, it's an, as I said, it's an unfortunate circumstance. Uh, but from, from a playability side, for him, for John Daly, no problem for us. Well, we look forward to having him out here tomorrow. I know you and I and all the fans have a lot of affection for him. Yeah, yeah, it's good. So, let's have another great day tomorrow. Right, Sandy, that's the latest.